Hello everybody, today we'll be doing some editing of me. <laughs> I usually do edits of my other OCs, but um, I decided, you know, why don't I do something for myself? Uh, yeah, so most of the time I just do outlining, making lines thicker, because I love thick lines. <laughs> and uh, I guess most of the time I just might be rambling on about stuff from the past like I usually do. So, uh, why don't we start with a question that I think one of a commenter asked me if I like kittens. I would say I love them. I love black cats. They, people say that they're bad luck, but I think they're just misunderstood and they're fucking badass <laughs> and um yet yeah, I am very allergic to cats I sneeze red eyes I start to get loopy and stuff yeah my allergies have a huge effect on me like I would just ramble but I would act really loopy like if I was drunk sort of you know but I would really wouldn't be but one thing that helps is Benadryl, so, yeah. I also, I know I'm pretty late with this whole breaking news shit, but I heard that people, um, people used to use Benadryl as a drug, like, to get them high. To be honest, I think that is a terrible idea. One, because I am black and I am da dumbass, <laughs> and two... Can't, that is very, very dangerous. It, it could have a huge effect on you, sure. Like, it is a, dare I say, drug. But it is very, very bad. Like, bad, bad. Like, you don't take multiple of them too much for yourself because you will go to sleep. And you most likely will not wake up. So, like, from this video, don't do it. Like, just don't. It's very dangerous. How about we talk about dramatic experiences? Hooray! <laughs> I remember one experience that I had when I was like, a, like really, really young. I don't know how old I was. I was like really young, like maybe one. But I don't know. I don't know how old it was. But I remember jumping on a bed and my mom told me not to. But my dumb ass kept doing it. And then I fell. And that's how I lost my first tooth. My first tooth, people. It hurt. But it... I lost my tooth. <laughs> yeah. It was painful, but it wasn't too bad. I have never... I, like, I've been to sleepovers. Sleepovers. Sleepovers before. But... I think they, they all seem so sketchy in my opinion like the witchcraft I'm telling you it got some witchcraft into it I'm telling you it is very sus it's sus not saying that people who do go to sleepovers are like weird I think it's normal like any type of girl related show it has that one or multiple episodes where they have, you know, sleepovers. Where they use magical potions to make themselves prettier. Or change their reflection to enter into men's wallets. Or they'll do this game called Light as a Feather Stiff as Board. Well, it is a game where you put one or two fingers under a person. Then you chant light as a feather, stiff as a board, continuously, and then you start lifting her, and then she will be light as a feather, yet stiff as a board, and she's supposed to levitate. You know, that sounds like some witchcraft to me, but if you don't think so, okay. Tell me that's some witchcraft, that's some witchcraft shit, I'm telling you. I'm being honest I think that is witchcraft and then there was these weird nursery rhymes that I thought were very 
not nursery like you wouldn't sing them to your child when they were when they would try to put their eyelids closed and rest for the next torturing day hell no like there's just one that's like about murdering your parents like uh i forgot the first part it's like gave her mother 40 wax then when she saw what she had done she gave her father 41 like she basically took a fucking axe it's like a jump rope song and they took a fucking axe and murdered her parents to be honest that is brutal yet yeah, badass like <laughs> you better give Susie her damn cookies if you don't she'll beat that ass when I say beat that ass I mean she'll cut it off <laughs> that is so brutal I'm sorry Wait, what time is it? it, it is it actually? Oh, damn. It's 12.59. It's A, sleep deprived, sleep deprived squad, comma, in the closet section. Yeah, because I bet we're all just sleep deprived. I remember when anime was kind of, you know, weird. Like, people loved anime played video games 24-7, didn't go to sleep, it was weird, but now in 2020, it's like, oh my god, that's so cool, you watch anime, yeah, that's so cool, but back then, it was like, you're a freak, get a life, yeah, that's how it was, I remember discovering anime when I was like, nine, it, it, it was it was amazing it, it, it changed my life completely and my sleep schedule I should be sleep so tomorrow I can get as much candy candy in my system if you hear me stuttering please don't call, please don't laugh at me I'm serious like I have I am really bad at talking to human beings I mean just thinking about me in front of people Talking kind of startles me. <sighs> Social anxiety is a bitch. So how was your day? Oh fuck, I forgot you're not here. Damn. Uh, do I just continue rambling about myself? I'll just continue rambling about other shit. Well, I remember when I was like. Oh, um, I have this weird disorder, sleep disorder, where I have anxiety attacks in my sleep. Like, most people think that it's terrifying, but it's traumatically terrifying. It is scary because it's to the point where you feel like you cannot get out. Like, it will trap you in there, and it will not let you go for the rest of your life. And you'll live in that one nightmare forever. Yeah. Like, my anxiety is like losing family because I lost a lot of people that I never took for granted. I never take people for granted. Ever. Because I know that one day they might leave in a certain way. You know, like, you know, death they'll die someday so what's the point in taking them for granted if you know they won't have a chance to take you for it too so there's no point in doing it either way so i never took a person for granted whether they are family or just a random human being like i have never had a perfect relationship with my mother because she has the habit of comparing me and me only. She loves comparing me to other people, like other family members. She likes to gossip and stuff like that. It kind of scares me. That's what deprived my social anxiety. That's why I don't talk to people. Yet my fucking teachers continue to call my name when I already know the answer and I just don't want to answer because I might automatically freak out, and that's what I don't want to do. 
but the fact that they want me to makes me scared. It startles me to know that I am not an only human. Like, I wouldn't mind being an only human in a household. I actually like the idea, but like, if I was like stuck with an Asian dude, oh, trust me, buddy, I would love that. Because like, I'm able to keep myself constant or compatible with a male. I am able to do that. Like most girls my age would freak out, get flustered, but me, I would just sit there like, so you're just gonna stand there and pin me down, you ain't gonna do shit? You're just gonna sit there? Yeah, that's me. I am a very, I, I seem like a very strong person like on the outside I am a fucking rock I will fuck you up but inside I will fall apart in a second like I just said family means everything to me I never take people for granted but yet this one bitch had the audacity to talk about my brother he died when he was born he was my very first brother that I've ever had. I've always wanted a brother. It was my first chance to have a brother and he died. He, She had the fucking audacity to talk about him. And that fucking did something to me that I didn't know could happen. I completely lost control and I started saying stuff about her and her looks and how she shouldn't mention any shit about anyone's family because there's no reason you should. We are all human beings. Sure, some of us die, some of us live, but we have no, no fucking audacity, no point, no reason to talk about my family. That kind of took me off guard because I didn't know why I said that. It kind of hit me in a way that I said, holy fuck. I didn't want to apologize because I knew what she did was wrong and that she deserved it. And yet she didn't say shit because she knew I was fucking right. And that made me feel proud of myself, yet slightly scared that I realized I couldn't control it, that it won't snap me. And that point made me feel brave, yet scared at the same time. I felt different in a way that wasn't bad, yet it wasn't good. I was the type of child to always see drama, but never get into it. That's why I never really hung out with females most of the time. I'd only hang out with males because they seemed like they didn't have anything going for them, like they didn't have any drama to deal with. I was partially correct, yet the girls had to just jump in and ruin my fun. I was having fun, we were all fine, yet the girls had to pull me away from that fun. They started complaining about how much I was having fun with the boys, and they didn't get to hang out with them too. Yet I t continuously told them that I, didn't, I wasn't stopping them, they, had, they could hang out whenever they wanted to. I actually had the suggestion for them to hang out with us, yet they refused, so it wasn't my fault. I was never the kid to fall in love, yet I guess I was the prettiest female in schools. Every school, I guess, because there would be multiple males to flirt with me in direct physical, mental, and other ways that could be said illegal, which was. And it wasn't just children, it was adults, like a certain bus driver. I loved helping him out, like opening the door and placing people in their seats. I actually liked it, it was kind of fun. It was fun helping out other people. And then he kind of went too far. He you know what, there's probably minors watching, I shouldn't say anything, but 
you know what I mean. He went too far, he touched me, and then turns out he did it to multiple females that I knew. Then we reported him, he went to jail for two weeks. He could have raped us, never mind, I'll cut that part out. He could have done something to us if he had the chance and I know that for sure it's a fact especially in a male's mind the fact that a male doesn't know or doesn't understand that when a woman or girl says no they take it as a do it more or continue Sure, we smile, we giggle, we try to flirt somehow. But when you take it too far, we feel uncomfortable and we don't know what to say because we are too afraid of losing. Yeah, we are too afraid. The fact that they don't understand that makes us feel afraid and uncomfortable. So there's no point. That's why I don't as much because I know that if they ever try to I'll have a taser with me yep then I'll have full permission to completely murder them right in front of me <sighs> trust me if I had the chance I would do it no I'm not a violent person I mean sure when I was in like first grade I threw a boy in a fire ant pile but I am not a complete violent person Okay, that made me sound very violent. Oh god, that made me sound very violent. I am sorry. <laughs> yeah, that was that was terrible. I love editing. It's so much fun. Yeet. <laughs> You know, you really should learn how to. Oh, frick. I, I mean, um. I think I forgot what I was gonna say. Uh, I think I was gonna say how difficult it is to understand another human being's thoughts. Sometimes our thoughts connect. Like we know what a person is going to say because we've already heard it several times to that one person or someone alike. I don't know how the frick this just got to science, but I'm liking how free I am of talking to you guys. I know you're not here with me, but it feels like it, which makes me feel very intimidated. Oh gosh, oof, I think I'm feeling dizzy. Oh gosh, oh jeez, I screwed that up. Oh, but jeez. Whew. The walls are spinning. I am okay. I swear I did not take any drugs or anything like that. I, I don't take drugs. Period. <laughs> Tell me why girls say period, boo. Is that normal? I, I, is it a trend or something? Like, I get Visto... Visco girls, emo boys, emo girls, all that good stuff, the popular kids. But what the fuck? Who the fuck taught them about period? And why do they spell it so damn weird? I don't get it. Was it supposed to sound cool? It sounds dumb as hell. And I bet you every motherfucking middle school girl says it. I bet. I swear every fucking middle school girl says it. Cause I'm at least 20. 20. All of them say it. And I don't fucking get it. Cause it's dumb as hell. It makes you sound real, really, really stupid. Really stupid.
so I think you, most of you guys have seen my body video. Um, I've seen that multiple of you guys have watched it and you guys are very supportive of it, which made me feel very happy and proud that I was able to share it with you guys because I never thought I would have the certain type of courage to post it. Thought that I would just, you know, delete it or post it, let at least two people see it and then delete it right after. But you guys seem to understand somehow. Like it wasn't just a feeling, it was pain. And I'm glad you guys understand. Most of you guys are really, really kind and helpful. You guys post ideas that really help me out. You guys are my, not just my subscribers, not just my fans. You guys are kind of like family to me. Like family that I never naturally had in a while. The only person that I really trust is my father. I love him with my heart. Everything. And I mean everything. I love him a lot. Just me seeing him disappointed makes me feel disappointed. Just thinking of it makes me feel disappointed. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw my father cry. It made me cry. Just thinking about it might make me cry. <laughs> Ooh, I might cry, oh gosh. But it really was something that I never thought would happen because I looked up to him so much and it's not a bad thing for a male to cry. I'm saying that he seemed so strong in my eyes that I didn't know how he actually felt. And it made me feel upset, like I wasn't there for him. But the fact that he actually knew that I wanted to always be there. And I could tell that. He's a very comforting person. Sure, he seems like a rough person since he's in the army. But hey, he's still human. He's kind. He's sweet. He has a heart that I don't think anyone else has had. Ever. And I don't think anyone else will. He makes jokes that seem really boring and average, yet so sweet and considerate and funny. They all are. <laughs> they all crack jokes about your body and stuff, but my dad, he, he cracks jokes about how beautiful I am. That makes me feel less insecure about myself, I'd say. Very, very less insecure. You know, it's nice just talking to you guys and you guys just chilling and watching me do some random editing because I'm bored and I am actually sleep deprived and I might die after this because I am very, very sleepy. I am very sleepy. Sheesh. <sighs> <sighs> Oh gosh, I went really silent for a second. <laughs> I don't know how long I've been trying to edit this for. Oh gosh. To be honest, I like the way it looks. It looks pretty nice. Okay, get my blur out. I 
I'm pretty sleepy, so I might put a little dark spot under my eyes. Airbrush, airbrush. I had to find my airbrush. Mechanical <sighs> pencil. Oh jeez. <laughs> you know, I'm craving some dino chicken nuggies right now. Just some dino chicken nuggets. What the frick did I just say? Dino chicken nuggets. <laughs> what are dino chicken nuggets? And then I go whoosh, 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 whoosh. And I just go here and I blend it in. Do, 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 do. Na, 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 na. I'm going to do something cool with these eyes. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Work. Oh gosh, that is illegal. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this. I really hope you guys are because I don't want to um, bother you guys, like make you guys feel uncomfortable or anything like that. Oh jeez, this is going to be one long thing. It's taking forever. Need to find a heart. Heart, heart, heart. Mm. Use it for free. When your no. last name begins with the letter W, you get used to being at the end of the line. And just like I was at graduation, this election finds me there again. In the special election for U.S. Senate, the names on the ballot are listed in alphabetical order. So you have to look all the way down there to find Warnock. I may be near the end of the alphabet and the ballot, but I'll always put Georgia first. I'm Raphael Warnock, and I approve this message. Okay, thank you, sir. I will cut you out right after because I don't care. Can't even vote, dude. Do, 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 do. No, that's not big enough. Now to use my little blendy blendy friend. I like how they look. Mm. 
this is too. Huh. And blur. I think this is nice. I like it. Still messed with the hair. Hold on, let me see that one more time. Oh no, not you. It's actually not too bad. Oh gosh, it got quiet. Alright, almost done. I like it. Uh, back to my gallery. I think I did pretty good. Uh, well, that was pretty long. I think I should upload this whole thing now. So, uh, I should get going. I love you guys so much. Hope you guys have an amazing day, night, or evening. Um, I hope you guys are okay. And if you are feeling a little down, you can always talk to me. I'll probably be up till 4 a.m., so don't worry. And if I'm not, I'll make sure to get back to you because I'm pretty sure I always do. I love you guys so much. Bye.